never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys, welcome back to the show, welcome back to another video and today we actually are gonna do uh, an exhaust system So I got this Valtronic for the 650i and it was supposed to be for the 650i But then things happened, a buyer came up for that car and I found somebody selling this F10 And I reached out to Valtronic and they said hey it actually might be better for this car anyway. So, what we do have here is a Valvetronic exhaust for this car. So I'm gonna show you guys a few clips before, and then we're gonna go ahead and put in the Valvetronic and see the after. This basically only has a muffler delete already. So a Valvetronic will basically go from muffler delete to pretty much nothing. So there's gonna be no drone, and when there is a muffler delete, there isn't gonna be any drone either, which is super nice. So let's just go ahead and hear uh, how it sounds before. Give you guys a few revs real quick. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, that's pretty much what this car sounds like on just a muffler delete. So what we're gonna do is add a Valtronic, which basically replaces a muffler if this thing had one. So we go either muffler delete or muffled. So it's super nice. I think we can control it from a key. Don't know how this stuff works. So we got our boy over here, John. He's gonna go ahead and help us install it. And uh, I hope, I hope he, this is something that's new for the both of us. Let's just go ahead and try this real quick. Guys, check out the halos. Oh my god, these headlights, honestly, I love them a whole lot more than the 435s. This is no actual like yellow things. It's just pure white. It looks so much better. Anywho, full body kit coming soon. Let's go ahead and get this car up and get that exhaust style. Let me show you guys what we have in the box. Yeah, guys, here's the Valvetronic exhaust. Two mufflers, sound system, remote. I mean, not sound system. <laughs> the remote controller for it. And we also have the two tips over here in that box. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this sucker open. I don't even care, bro. What is all of this? Guys, <laughs> this thing looks like an amp. This thing's crazy. It looks super sick. Valvetronic design. I feel like if you guys have a nice little chunk set up, this would be super cool to have it in. Hey, oh, for? here's the remotes, two of them. This is, for both is this keys. bags or what? what On or off. Bags? It looks like yeah, bags, bro. Uh, here we're gonna go ahead and see if he can take it. Um, if he can't, we'll take it down to a exhaust shop. We'll go ahead and see. We'll go ahead and see. All right, guys, and here are the mufflers. Cracking that little sucker open. Oh, if it actually says it on there too, that's sick. Valvetronic. Dude, the welds look good. Some TIG welding for you. <laughs> oh, oh my. Yo, we might actually need to get a thumbnail with this. That is sick. What the heck? I think this full kit guy is like $800 for a, for, for a Valvetronic set. I think it's a really good deal, honestly. It's very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. All right, guys, we got the whole system out here. So that's all the management. We got the two tips. I think I'm gonna be keeping these for the 135 um, because this car does have quad tip. I think the next exhaust I'm gonna be, and the next bumper I'm gonna be going with is a quad tip. So I'm not gonna put these two singles. You guys can obviously opt for whatever you want. I think I went with these two because of the 650i. And yeah, of course, now we're using on the 550, I mean 535. Anywho, we got the two mufflers, management. I think the keys are in here too. I love the keys. This is gonna be so sick having the keys set up with the two fobs that come with the car. It's gonna be so sick. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get the car up in the air and start in the exhaust. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, coming in coming yeah. In. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah. All right, guys, looking at the car. So we're gonna have to see how this shit works, honestly. Kind of confusing. Super clean down here. I guess that's what happens when you get a clean title owned by an older person because, uh, guess you see, there's no oil leaks on this car. I'm actually really, really happy with this. Like, wow, this is pretty nice to me right now. This thing was mostly serviced at the dealer. So again, getting a clean title with low mileage, Probably is a good move. Thing is, it's probably should have got a pre-purchase inspection, but for me, I always feel like, hey, you know, it's life. If it's meant to be, I have a piece of shit car, it's meant to be. If it's meant to be a good car, it's meant to be a good car. That's just like my logic. I don't know if you should follow that, but that's what I do, you know? Anywho, let's go ahead and uh, start looking to the exhaust and see where we're gonna cut this and fit this. All right, guys, so I just want to show you guys what comes in the kit. So you guys get the pretty much the, the main brain, uh, the little antenna that comes with the remotes. Uh, it's a little unorganized right now, but we'll go, go ahead and show you guys how we set this up. What's nicer on the F10 series is that there's actually an auxiliary port right here. So you don't have to do any hard wiring. You can just go ahead, because it comes with a hard wire kit, which you're not going to be needing. This is really easy if you guys look at it. All you got to do is plug this in to the trunk, plug that wire into here, bam, you got power. You can control it through the wire straight from that. And then this is pretty much the lines, or I think it's vice versa. Yeah, this one right here. You connect this line through the two holes in there, and then that will go straight to the, the, the bottom and connect to the two mufflers. Super easy. 
All you gotta get, to, all you gotta get done at the shop is let them weld this professionally, and then uh, you're gonna wire and all that stuff. So John's gonna go ahead and take off the, the trunk liner and uh, show you guys pretty much how he's gonna route it. I will show you guys the way we're doing it on this car. You guys obviously put it in different locations in your trunk, but we're gonna show it right here because I think right there it's gonna be super sick. I think this box is really, really well done. So shout out to Bob Chuck. This looks sick. Oh damn, that's where that connection is. That is crazy, dude. What? I've never seen a car with an auxiliary right there. That's sick, huh? That is awesome. So where does the hose get routed? We're gonna route it through here. Oh, through and there? It's gonna go right outside, right by the exhaust. It's gonna be cool. Like, All right, that's gonna be super easy. easy. Well, John's raising the car. Check out what Jonathan just posted. So that's absolutely pretty, that's sick. M little thing there. Also guys, I just put this up. This is the 650i Plax. So shout out to everyone here that supported the 650i build. I will be doing this also for the 535 and the 135 soon. Um, but right now, we're just gonna be working with the companies. And then once the co once we work with the companies, we'll go ahead and get you guys involved on the builds. But yeah, again, shout out to everyone with the M3 build. Shout out to everyone with the 235 build, 650i build. And shout out for everyone for 100K. Anywho, uh, this is pretty sick. This wall is coming together. Let's go ahead and uh, get this management set up. Oh, we're gonna... So what John did, he went ahead and put in uh, two brackets and he actually routed the wires straight through this. He did a few cutting things uh, just to make it, it look super good. I mean, we're just doing aesthetic things at this point. But again, huge shout out to John for actually doing this for me. He's, his Instagram's gonna be linked down below. He does a lot of work in fabrication, a bunch of stuff. He even installs airbags. That's how my airbags went into my 435. So if you guys wanna check out all that stuff, link down below on his Instagram. Yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get back into it. I really wanna see how this thing looks installed. There you go. Damn. So yeah guys, the wire is pretty much routed to the bottom and it's just literally coming right over here. So you can literally just connect it right there. And then that's the antenna that comes with the remote and that's the hose. We literally have it just cut into here, routed out here. And we'll show you guys how we connect all this when we actually get the exhaust done. So you guys will probably see that tomorrow. Good morning, so I'm with the all over here. About to head down right now to specialize exhaust. It is the absolute next day. So let's go ahead and start up our car, let it warm up. All right, guys, here at Specialized Exhaust. I heard some of you guys actually coming down here to get your exhaust work done, so. Yeah, they're the ones that made my 328i and my 330i from like two tips on one side to one tip on each side. You do have to come in with small tips. One of you guys apparently came in with big tips. That's not gonna work. You have to come with two small tips, FYI. All right, guys, so I've already had my Chipotle and uh, we're just waiting right now for them to call me back to pick up the 535. So I guess we're just gonna be also waiting on the truck to deliver the parts for the 535. I guess while waiting on uh, the tow truck to get you and a call from the exhaust shop, let's just work out, you know? Try to get a, try to get these gains going. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, parts came in for the F10, boys. Choo choo! All right, guys, so shout out to them. The hood is finally here from Souvenir. So I'll show you guys this hood hopefully soon. Um, but let's head out and just go check out what's going on with the F10. I hope the exhaust is done. All right, guys, got my protein shake. Let's take the 435 and pick up the 535, boy. All right, guys, we just made it. Let's check out the 535. Almost done with the tips and everything. Hopefully, we get the rest of this stuff sorted out the shop. But um, but yeah, guys, for now, uh, tomorrow, I, I, once this thing all gets together, I'll show you guys the car. And then tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and wire in everything. So this is going to be a, like a spread out between two or three days. But like all good content, that's how it should be. I don't want to do a part one, part two, part three, make it all five or six minute videos. Don't worry, guys. I'll get it all in this video for you guys. So uh, let's cut to the parts when they actually finish. We just got the Valvetronic tips installed. This should sound super quiet. Was it quiet? It should sound like a Prius right now. Yeah, so <laughs> once we get the valves open tomorrow, it should sound a lot better. But yeah, blue tips. I already say Valvetronic. I think these are super sick. Once we get the bumper, all, he cut into the bumper. I don't know why, as you guys can see right there. So all that's gonna get situated when we get the new bumper on. Uh, but yeah, my brother's gonna go ahead and start it up. <laughs> it's so quiet. Hopefully tomorrow, which is actually in the same video, we're actually gonna go ahead and just put in the vacuum line to control from the remote, and you guys should be able to hear it on and off. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, so we are, this is officially day three. Um, so we're actually gonna head down to the shop and fully install the exhaust now. But on the way there, I don't know if you guys noticed this crack that was here. I probably, in the beginning of this video, I mentioned how I cracked my windshield. So I'm actually heading down to finally set an appointment. That's today. Let's go ahead and get this windshield repaired. I'm hoping this is repairable, at least mostly. I guess we're about to find out. So let's head down. I'm, I don't wanna be late to my appointment, so let's just head out. So just made it to Safelight Auto Glass. Let's go ahead and see if uh, this thing can get better. So yeah, here's the before. Give you guys a little 
oversight. Um, that's the before. All right, guys, and here is the after. You guys can barely notice it. It is so much better. I'm super happy with that. It looks like just dirt, honestly. So obviously, he said that's the best we can do. We can go ahead and replace the whole windshield, but I'm not replacing a whole windshield over something like that. It's a flaw. It is what it is. He did a great job. Shout out to them at Safe Light. So I'm super happy with that. They literally looked at it and they're like, that is the most unusual crack. And those typically are unrepairable. And uh, the, the way it happened, it's, just, it's, it's so unlikely. I can't believe it actually happened, to be honest. Anyhow, I'm happy they repaired it for the... Oh, so much better, guys. I mean, yeah, it's there, but so much better. So without further ado, i see y'all at the shop. All right, guys, your boy is here at the shop, and he forgot his keys. This one has none of the shop keys on it. So we're heading back home. I'm actually going to be stopping by Devon's place to check out his new home, and then we are heading home. So, uh, yeah, I'll just catch you guys when I'm back home. You know, everyone makes mistakes. This one was a pretty fat one, not going to lie. All right, guys, we are finally home. The 535 just chilling here. 435 chilling right there, and the 135. Right there, that's my brother's 328. But anyhow, right now, let's go ahead and get the car up, show you guys the new exhaust system and pretty much how they set it up, what exactly they welded, and what we're going to be doing to install the actual remote to get it to work in this video as well. All right, guys, we're going to pop open the hood. I mean, technically the trunk. We got the jack stands there. We got a lot of mods in the trunk. Anywho, car is jacked up on two jack stands. I'm actually going to leave the jack right there as well. Why not for some extra support? Let's go ahead and take everything out of the trunk and show you guys how we're going to go ahead and set this up. All right, guys, let's go ahead and just remove the carpet real quick. Guys, <laughs> this looks so professional. So we do have this unplugged. I don't want to plug it in just now since we don't actually have this, the system hooked up. But once we hook up the system, we're going to plug it into the outlet right here in the trunk, which is super convenient. Anywho, this looks so good. Just chilling there. Oh my God, that is beautiful Valvetronic design. This is the entire hose. It actually comes with so much more than you need just in case you want to put this somewhere that's closer to the fuse box or whatever. But we're going to put it back right back here right next to the battery right next to the exhaust system. So we're going to be cutting a hole right there. I already cut a hole right there. I'm just going to go ahead and route the route the tube straight through there. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that. You see this piece right here. I'm going to just put it right in that hole right there. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. It basically made a slit Put the hose straight through there. Let me go and pull it out of the bottom now. As you guys can see, it's just right out of here. So I'm going to just pull all this across just like that. Now, it may not be a bad idea to keep some of this extra inside the car just in case you want to go ahead and move this down the road. So I'm just going to keep that right there. It's not too much to leave in the trunk. Now that we have all of this outside the car from the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it, basically put a T-piece into it, and then have two hoses sticking out of it. One plug into this side, one plug into that side. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that real quick. It's super easy. Let me just go ahead and do it. So three, two, one. All right, guys, so here's the muffler. Pretty much got the vacuum hose right there. And then it's connected to the T-piece right here. That T-piece is going inside the trunk to the actual system. And then this T-piece is actually gonna be routed all the way around to that muffler. It's as easy as that. All right, guys, so let me show you how clean I got this to be. So this side's connected, as you can see. I basically have this heat shield. I routed it behind the heat shield. It goes right behind this. I went ahead and removed these bolts. And as you guys can see, it's right up from behind here, wraps around to the T-hook right there. And that side is connected to this side and uh, it goes up into the trunk. I mean, from right there. So that is absolutely perfect. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just go ahead and zip tie this up right here just to make sure it's not going anywhere. And other than that, um, I think we just need to get some batteries in the remote. We are good to go. So before we go ahead and lower the car, check out the mufflers. These look so sick. Absolutely insane, great quality. Here's the other side with the tip. Check that out. Oh, buddy, that looks insane. So we got all the vacuum hoses lined up. We're gonna just remove these jack stands real quick. Go ahead and lower the car as well, just like that. Bada bing, bada bing. So now we just put some batteries in these keys. So let's go ahead and pop open the back of this and see what kind of batteries this thing takes. All right, guys, went ahead and just opened up the key. So uh, now that I have a pretty good idea of how what the battery looks like, let's go ahead and get one from Walmart. Now let's go ahead and head home real quick. Guys, the 535 just looks so good in the shade. Oh my God, this is such a baller's car. Oh my lord. Anywho, we got the batteries. Go ahead and just put those in those two keys and see if they work. This portion of the video is the scariest part. It's the fact that I have both my keys inside the trunk. And did you guys know if you close your trunk with both your keys in the trunk, you're going to have to go to BMW and get another key. That's the only way to get your keys out of the trunk. That's how insane it is. So anyway, I'm just going to take this out so I can kind of chill out a little bit. But yes, we got our two keys. We got batteries in it and everything. As you can see, they work. But the Vaptronic doesn't work. And why is that, you might ask? Well, that's because we forgot to connect it over here to our power supply. Just like that. 
as you can see, there's no power because the car is off and that's what's nice. When the car is off, it gives you about a minute to two minutes after to still close the valve to unlock the valve, but it will cut out with, with the car so it doesn't drain the battery, which is super nice. I'll go ahead and unlock the car. As you can see, power is directly to it. Go ahead and grab one of the remotes and this is the first time I'm seeing it, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see the valves. All right, moment of truth. On. Hallelujah. Valves are open, boy. Close. Ooh. Now I know opening and closing is cool, but I think we want to actually hear the exhaust, right? Let's go ahead and close the trunk real quick. I got my keys out, don't worry y'all. All right, now that the valves are closed, let's go ahead and start up the car real quick. Okay, hey, sounds like a Prius. This thing is 100% stock other than now the mufflers, and right now it sounds like the factory, if not quieter. hear the sound within the car I have to see how it is off camera there isn't any pop but the car is noticeably louder so it is a tiny bit louder nothing too crazy but that's how this car sounded without a muffler doing we had the muffler delete it didn't sound like anything so what we're gonna have to do next is add an intake and I think that exhaust is gonna sound a whole lot better plus the tune a tune is definitely gonna make it sound a whole lot better that's for sure so anyway the car is chilling right here I'm gonna leave it on while I was revving in I kind of wanted to just warm up for the day we're gonna be doing a whole lot more testing with this valve truck if you guys saw the valve truck before 35 it sounds absolutely insane. We're gonna make it sound the exact same right now. It just has a muffler delete, and that's it. So it needs more things to be deleted. I'm probably gonna go catted down pipes or catless on this one, and maybe even a resonator delete. And then of course we'll put the intake and all that stuff in the engine bay to make sure we can get this exhaust as loud as possible. And from a click of a button, quiet the whole system down in a few seconds. Actually, I think it's like two seconds. Pretty insane. Any you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.